Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SEL0520 representing JVS. I'm back here again for another, what I like to call, first reaction, which is basically my non spoiler review for an episode of whatever TV show. Tonight's episode is for The Flash. This is, I think, episode number 17. The name of this episode is called Flashback. Um, what did I think about this episode? I, it was an entertaining episode. To say, to say the least, I can definitely say that off the gate. There were some intriguing, dangerous situations that Barry put himself in and the universe in, in a lot of different ways, in a lot of different regards. Like, the things that kind of happens, because basically in the beginning of the episode, Barry's trying to get faster. And he comes up with this concept that the only way that he can get faster is to go back into the past and meet up with Harrison Wells to do that. Now, there are two different things about this. I love the intrigue of like him putting himself in the line of fire against the person that not only killed his mom but tried to kill his family, tried to kill his friends, and him facing that. You know, and there's a moment where he really faces like that darker part of his past. You know, the thing that he had to beat, that he had to overcome, and that gets brought to the surface, and he actually tames it. You know what I'm saying? And even like there's a new threat in. Um, the Speed Force wraiths, essentially, and basically what they are, um, anytime that this time travel is done, they can follow through, and they their whole sole desire is to eliminate Speedster that basically try to conflict with time. Um, I looked at the, the, the Flash, the Supergirl crossover episode, I was wondering why Barry had that, you know, that kind of tachyon kind of equipment on him. They don't necessarily explain that in this episode, but it does get implied how he gets to that point, which I really appreciated. I thought that was really interesting. Um, the thing that I didn't like about this episode was the total disregard to the timeline. It's like the things that he did in this episode literally could, well, it did create another alternate reality. Okay, now on the surface, there's not too many things that you see that, that happen, you know, you know, whatever. But because of him going in direct contact with Harrison Wells, we really don't know what he did. And it's like at a certain point, if something happens as far as interaction with him and and Harrison Wells, that thought was really like, oh my gosh, baby, what were you thinking? So. I think from a responsibility standpoint and from a reality standpoint, like why would you put the timeline in jeopardy to try to get faster to a certain plateau? Um, it, it just didn't make sense to me personally. Now, I, I don't know if it's, I'm becoming jaded like because of like the tone of certain moves I've seen lately, uh, but it just didn't make sense to me. I was like, very, I understand you need to get faster. I, I, I totally get that. But it was like a total disregard to the potential of ruining the timeline that he's already had. You know, I, I, that's the thing that I had a problem with this episode the whole way through. Like, if you look at my reaction, like, I really wasn't reacting as much as I normally do because I was like, why are you doing this? You know? Anyway, um, but there were some, definitely some good character moments. There's definitely some great callbacks. Even, like, the, the, the character Pied Piper, I can't remember the, name of the dude's name, uh, he has a callback in this episode, even... Eddie actually makes an appearance and stuff. So either way, it was some really cool things that they did going into the past and things that needed to be executed to move forward. I understand that. It's just for me, why try to at least, you know, it, it, I, I couldn't get with him changing the timeline. Anyway, um, what do I give this episode? I give it 8 out of 10. It's, it was a pretty decent episode. I just did not appreciate the change to the timeline or even... The prospect of doing that. It was like it was a total disregard to the danger that that could impend on everybody else. And it's just really irresponsible, in my opinion. Like, I, I, any, Anyway, I don't want to keep you talking about negative. I'll try to do a quick spoiler field review. I don't know if I'm going to do that tonight. I might do that tomorrow when I've had a little bit more time to digest all this. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed my non spoiler review for the Flash episode. I will not be releasing my uh, first reaction until maybe tomorrow. I really need to get some sleep. So keep it locked, JVS, we ain't gonna stop, and look for me to actually come out with a review for I Saw the Light, starring Tom Hiddleston, who actually, I actually got the interview. I'll talk to y'all about this soon. Peace out.